It was a show of respect for an organ donor as she was taken to perform her last giving act. Finding out that she was a donor and that's what she wanted, I don't know, it just kind of, I don't know, it kind of gave me a little peace. 51-year-old Gwen Daigle suffered a brain injury in October, but by the time she could be rushed to the hospital, it was too late. Deborah Carman says her daughter had just 1% brain function and wasn't going to recover. It was heartbreaking, heartbreaking, because her and I, we had a very, very close relationship. Her and I either spoke or text messaged every day. So, and we've always had a close relationship. So it was, it was devastating for me. Staff at Tri-City Medical Center in San Diego gave Gwen an honor walk to thank her for her sacrifice. The Life Sharing Organ Donation Program gives grieving families dealing with a senseless loss and tragedy and unimaginable pain a chance to find promise and purpose in one last final act of immeasurable kindness. Staff members lined the halls to support Gwen and her family as she was taken to surgery. The Honor Walk allows each of us to pay our deepest respects to a person who, has, uh, who chooses to celebrate their life by giving others a chance to live. Um, it's, uh, there are no words. As difficult as it was for Deborah and her grandchildren to say goodbye, she says they were comforted by the hospital staff's caring display. I just felt so much love and so much um, respect for my child and for my family that I'm like, you know, this is such a positive thing. This is, this is, this is a positive thing. We, we need to do this. And I think it was very healing and helpful for myself and my two granddaughters that were there. Gwen's organs were transplanted into five people, including two kidney patients who had each been on dialysis for more than 10 years, which means her donations could potentially save more people. Her mother says she hopes Gwen's story encourages others to become organ donors. It does kind of give a happy ending to it. Yes, we've lost her, but in some ways we haven't lost her. So just think about giving the gift of life and sharing and sharing the love. I think we need more of that in our world today. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Mara Montalbano.